Good morning folks, we've just had our breakfast and welcome back to Little Norton. Uh, we have got a fair few things to do today, I'll just stick these lights on so we can see a bit better. Uh, yep, just been in for my breakfast, um, I've already been up and sorted to and gone and tended to the animals and sorted all that sort of stuff out. Um, so, just need to do a few bits and bobs uh, after last night's big harvest. I've got a fair bit of maintenance to do, so I'll just give these two bits a clean off. Give them a way to clean as well. Let's see a bit better with our lights on. There we go. And give this trailer a clean as well. So today's a fairly busy day again. It's too damp just now to start a harvest but I have moved the harvester up to our soybean field by the animal dealer field and um, so that's good to go just there. We will need to lease or borrow some sort of corn header today as well if we want to get the corn out of the ground and um, so that's another thing to be done. But what we're going to do first we're going to take uh, the Massey Ferguson down to the main yard, main farm and we're just going to go and get that, uh, go and get uh, the cows sorted because uh, they're still to be done. I've still got one horse to exercise as well. In fact, just stop for a second, just turn this light off. There we go. So yeah, we need to go and sort the, uh, the cows out and yeah, we do need to exercise one horse but I may well do that later. Um, what we may well do as well is we may well get some sort of water pump installed at the cow barn uh, just to save us worrying about the water too much. But yeah, you can definitely sell it tell it's getting into winter 8.30 and it's still the sun's only just coming up I do love the lighting on this just now it's absolutely amazing yep yeah, after that gigantic uh, potato harvest last episode I've uh, accepted a contract on sugar beet uh, but we're not going to do that just now uh, try and do that later off camera at some point uh, but it's on the field just over there yeah, so with a wee bit of money so but as you can see our funds have, are doing pretty well so I think what we're going to do we're going to buy our piece of forest today so what I'll do I'll just get ourselves into here fantastic so we'll just uh, pull into here and we'll get our trailer and tractor pulled up. I'm just going to park the two just here just now. It's perfect just there. And yeah, we'll go and get the cows sorted out. So, what I'll probably need is I'll probably need the wee tractor, which is just there. Uh, and yeah, we'll need to use this as well. So first things first is the manure. Clean that out. Big cow in the way. Run a cow. Try and squeeze around it. There we go. Shut the gate while he's uh, so close to it. There we go. Keep him in here. We'll keep her in here, should I say. So we're doing pretty well for manure at the moment. So a fair bit.
great thing about this bucket is it is a good size. There you go. So quite low on straw by the looks of it, so we'll need to top that up. And we'll just dump the manure around the side here. So if we're getting around about 5,200 litres a day, it's soon going to add up, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's that. So I'll just go and clean out the feed area now. the gate again. Let's take this round here. I've got a wee little pile of silage just here just now. I need to figure out what to do with this but I'll leave it there just for now. Right like there, lights off. And we just get the small tractor. There we go. And just get this connected to the baler, uh, the straw blower. Now we'll get this unloaded. So we've still got a wee bit of straw in there. Yeah. So we won't need to put more in there until tomorrow. So all that remains is water. And we've still got plenty of grass. So park this over here just now. brought the pickup with the water over earlier so we can just get that filled up. So like I said I think we'll probably get a water pump installed in here and I'll just do that off camera. Um, pretty simple to do. So we'll do that and get that done. But I think while that's filling up, just have a look, yeah, that's yeah, while that's filling up menu. We'll just have a look at our field states. So to field 27 needs liming. Uh, field 55 which we were going to convert to arable doesn't need ploughing so that just needs cultivating in and yeah it's just field 27 that needs liming well looks for it. And then, yeah, once 39 has been halved, still need ploughing as well. So, yeah, we've definitely got a little bit of work to do. Um, what I'm intending to do first off is get a fertilising state on our uh, fields that need it. So, what we'll probably do is... Uh, jump over there. What we'll probably do is get... Uh, 
that done first so what I need to do is head up to the stores and get a slurry spreader so I'll meet you up there and yeah we'll uh, we'll get get everything done uh, yeah because we have a lot of digestate at the biogas plant just now so it makes sense to use some of that up I think looking at it we have yeah 174,000 litres so we've got plenty to be getting on with um, it may well be a case that we actually sell some as well uh, because you can actually earn a bit of money from it as well so I'll just head up to the stores we'll go and get ourselves a slurry spreader and then we'll get cracking fantastic so I've done a deal with the, the dealership here and we have got our slurry spreader just outside so here it is we've bought this which is the lizard and I'm pretty sure it's a Keenan uh, slurry spreader this holds around about 16,000 litres does about 12.6 meter spread uh, so absolutely perfect so I have actually purchased this uh, like I said we have got quite a lot of slurry so it takes about 150 horsepower to run it so it should be okay uh, so I've connected to this miles off there I have to put a piece of wood somewhere as well. Okay. okay, so what we'll do, we'll have to run down to the biogas plant and we'll go and get the digestate in it. Here we go, we're down to the biogas plant, we just pull in and this topped up from the digestive tank and this far end Right, there we go See the fill levels going up. There we go. So we'll go and get this filled up. Uh, sorry, we'll go and get this across the field and we'll get get cracking. It is a great mod this, super detailed, I love it. It's quite high on the slot count, I must admit, but yeah, for console, it does look great, it really does. I quite like this crimson colour as well, I think it fits the British map really well. That's what I remember as a kid seeing and driving about is crimson colours. <laughs> right. There is a new mod that's just come out that I want to try and squeeze into this map as well, which I absolutely adore. I remember it's one of the first tractors I drove as well. Uh, cutting grass. Um, yeah, so we might try and squeeze that into this, this map as well. I've got an idea of how to get it in there. So I've brought the cultivator into here as well, so that's just sitting there ready to go. Um, so once we've uh, put digestate on these fields, then we can actually get, uh, get it cultivated as well. So 12 meter spread, probably be right, right here.
That's nice to get a free fertilizing state. So once we get these fields done, we'll move across to field 27 and we'll get that one layer of slurry on it and then we'll get the cultivating done. Beacons off. So it's looking like we're going to run out on this field. <laughs> A little bit of a pain. Teeny bit, isn't it? Okay, so I'll go and fill this up. We'll get these uh, this other field done here. We'll move across to field 27, and we'll probably see it. field 27, and I'll probably get Andy out to come and help us. So get this get this going and we'll see you at field twenty seven. Okay, final strip of this field. A little bit to do. There we go. I'll just quickly look at the state of the field. There we go. All done. So that's all our fields up to date so far with fertilizer. Uh, so all we need to do now is 27 needs some lime on it and then we need to do some cultivating. 948 left in this tank so that's fine and I've still got yeah around 100,000 litres still up at the digest it up at the biogas plant so we're doing all right. So I've taken all the equipment uh, for the sugar beet harvest down to the field. So that's just down there just now. In fact, I'm going to put this in the uh, yeah the other yard just next to here. job is lime. Okay so what I need to do I just went around to the garden so I can just topped top up top, top, top the spreader just because yeah like all spreading lime it's it. so best safe just to fill it all the way up and get it going. 
already. So we'll get around this field and we'll get, uh, get fully limed and then the next job is to get onto the cultivating. What I'll probably do is I'll get a bit of a, a worker going as well. We'll probably get a worker going on the other fields and the involved and then hopefully it's going to dry out a bit so we can get these harvests done. Um, yeah, I've got I was waiting for the sugar beet, but we're also waiting for our field still, so hopefully the crop moisture will start to drop very, very soon. Yep, we'll get this field done, and yeah, well, next time you see us, we'll probably have a cultivator on the back of here, and uh, we'll be doing our fields, getting them done. I might see it once we've got them all done, actually, because uh, yeah, there's still a fair bit of work to do. And yeah, obviously, when we get get to the point where we can start harvesting, so we'll probably see you once we start harvesting. in a bit. Okay folks, so yeah, we're still prepping these fields. I've just checked the moisture levels in the on our fields for crops and it's still way too high. It's sitting at about 22% and um, so we're still struggling a little bit here. Um, so yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, with these fields, keep prepping them. Uh, this is the final bit of fertiliser just going on them just now. So this one's been limed, it's been fertilised, been cultivated uh, and the other two fields have been cultivated too. So they're pretty much sorted. Um, and we just need to really wait for these fields to get uh, get to the right moisture level so we can start harvesting them. Um, I'm kind of stuck until that happens. I'm a little worried because last time, yesterday, uh, the crop moisture symbol never disappeared. So, yeah, hopefully we should be a bit better today. It's, it's not rained overnight, so fingers crossed. So, I'm just going to drop this back in here, and next time you see us, hopefully, hopefully we can get these fields uh, these fields harvested if not it might be a case that we go and uh, go and put some seed in the ground so folks we're still awaiting the crop moisture sign to disappear so I've taken it upon myself to lease the seed caddy that we had before the Vedastat and what we're going to do, we're going to plant some winter winter crops. So I think what we'll do, this field on the left is going to have canola in and the other one is going to have oats in. So we're basically swapping it around. If we look at our crop rotator, uh, Crop rotation B was oats, is now canola. Crop rotation C was canola, is now going to be barley. So we'll put barley in that one. Um, so we'll get that sorted. Lower that down. And we'll get this crop in the ground. 
if I leave it to tomorrow, the forecast for tomorrow is, or tonight is quite cold temperatures so I'm a bit worried that the soil temperature is going to drop uh, below 5 degrees which would mean that uh, we might potentially get failed germination on some parts of the field so my thoughts are if we can get some crops in the ground today then we should be okay so uh, once these are in we can kind of forget about them till the spring and then we can give them our full attention once the weather warms up again So yeah, like I said, we're still waiting for these uh, this uh, crop moisture to disappear and I think we're going to be stuck at the moment, waiting and waiting, but hopefully, before it gets dark, we can get it done. Cells lined up. There we go. What I'm tempted to do maybe next year is join these two fields together um, it would make a lot of sense and just give us one big field obviously now I've had two different crops in it's going to make that rotation a little bit difficult but I'm sure we can figure out the best option for that carriers are still doing fine they're all nice and healthy still and yeah we just need to wait for next year till they start producing milk and the big thing I want to do in fact I'm set Andy on this just now um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to purchase some land today didn't I so let's go up here and we'll buy our piece of forest Perfect. There we go. So that means now we can get to get to work on that. So I think we'll leave Andy to that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and check the crop moisture again. Uh, we'll go and grab the pickup and we'll uh, take the car the header up to the field and hopefully we can get uh, get these fields harvested so good news folks uh, I was just uh, going running across and I went and got a pickup I was driving up here and then it said work has done his job so I had to go and swap over uh, Andy onto the other field and so he's planting wheat into the other field just now and yeah uh, the crop moisture symbol disappeared which is absolutely fantastic so I've brought the header up um, I've had to reverse it in because uh, even though there is some space here there's not much so we'll just Stop that there a second. We'll jump in the harvester. If I can get in. There we go. And yeah, we'll get cracking before it gets dark. Uh, move this out of the way. Just park that there for now. There we 
Okay. I'm gonna jump in. So I get this unfolded. Turned on. Just the reel of it. There we go. Now we'll get harvesting. I'm so glad this has worked. We'll have to see about getting that corn in um, because yeah, it is going to get dark. Uh, but yeah, I've still got that sugar beet harvest to do as well. So yeah, I think we're going to be fairly busy for the next 24 hours. That's great that we're getting these soybeans off the ground. It's, uh, it's a long time coming. Now, if you remember, this this field was just a uh, wasteland before. We just managed to acquire it, not for mu very much money. Uh, ploughed it out, and yeah, we've got our crop of soybeans now, which is absolutely fantastic. It's quite a tight field though. Once we've got a headland around it though it won't be so bad. And I think given the size of this field we'll probably get it all in one tank as well. Fantastic folks. So we'll just finish off the last part of this field. Tied it away, and then what we can do is get this grain put into into our trailer. So, eight thousand eight hundred twelve liters of soybeans, which is fantastic. Um, and what I've done, Andy is now over on the field just over there, our bigger field and he's um, he's planting some canola in there just now so uh, yeah it's definitely getting dark um, what I'll probably do is leave the corn field tomorrow and hopefully the crop moisture will be okay um, and then I think yeah I will do that sugar beet harvest overnight so I think we'll finish the episode just there we've got plenty done Turn that off, fold that up, there you go, uh, and yeah what we'll do, we'll leave this header here and I'll need to get a, he a corn header in the morning so I'll probably leave the harvester here overnight. Um, leave that there, and I can pick that up with the uh, There you go, I'll pick that up in the morning and yeah I'll go and take this grain down to the silo, store that away and then what we can do is we can yeah get that sugar beet harvest done. I hope you enjoyed the episode, um, yeah bits and bobs done today, yeah definitely winter prep, winter is almost upon us uh, and yeah We've got some winter crops in the ground, which is brilliant. We will see you next time at Little Norton. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And by all means, comment and share away. We will see you next time for more farming fun. All the best. Take care.